Ricky Hawkins, stand outside the Amex post-match reaction, uh, West Ham 3, Brighton 1. <laughs> right, it's lifted, the curse is lifted. Yeah, I, I said to someone out there, I'm so glad I didn't give my ticket away today because uh, I'd have been gutted to miss that because all the shit I've had seen us... Yeah, I mean, you think about it, the last time we was here, you know, we were standing there, just been beat 4-0, you know, everyone was shouting at the players and Moyes out and now we're standing here beating them top of the league and European champions. Yeah, absolutely. What, what a difference uh, a couple of months can make, eh? Yeah, absolutely, mate. It's... um. It's a big turnaround, isn't it? And we listen. You're not going to come here and uh, people are going to show me possession stats and things. You're not going to come here and dominate the good ball against Brighton. They're a good ball playing side, but it matters what you do with it. And what yeah. we've done with it today was gold. Yeah, we're not a possession-based football team at the moment. We we can with the players we've got coming in, and you can see what we're trying to do. We all have a lot more games where they will have a, a lot more obsession than we have been having lately but it's what you do off the ball and what we've done off the ball today was perfect you know the way we defended the way we went forward the way we pushed together as a unit worked back together Alvarez was just sitting in now you know as you said dropping in at the back breaking up the play Wall Prowse as well you know what I loved about them they both got booked today but they both put the tackles in. You know, this is what one thing we was lacking, and we was lacking it a lot last season, was players that actually wanted to go to the floor and get stuck in, let players know that they was there. Because after that Wall Prowse challenge, their, their sort of midfield was like a little bit wary of, of Wall Prowse. Yeah. You know, where really they should have been in making him make that tackle to get sent off. But yeah. no, look, it was a um, great, great winner. Uh, look, it's not a perfect performance. It's a it's a great win, but it's not a it's not a perfect performance because Brighton had a lot of the ball, you know. And on another day, they could have probably had four or five. But Ariola, what a, what a game he well, had, yeah, game of his life. Cracking performance. I mean, he, he made one save at one one, which was uh, the, from the header. Um, I thought that was a really important one. It was a weak, I thought it was a weak header, but you know everything they flung at him today, apart from the one that snuck in the corner. He dealt with, he dealt with comfortably. Yeah, definitely, mate. Um, I think his distribution was good as well. Had a couple of moments. You see the one when he nearly dropped it into his own net, but that's just Ariola trying to get into the, like, get his confidence in the first team. He's not had a run of games in the Premier League like this. So, but look, Wal Prowse, first goal today. He was such a, he, he was unreal today. I said to you, didn't I? The passes that he spots, you know, even that one when he knocked it 50, 60 yards out, out the wing. You know, last season we don't do that. We knock it back to the centre-backs. Yeah. That's the difference with a player like Wal Prowse. He's look, always looking to go forward. And that's what we've been missing and lacking. He's such a... He's, I think he could go under the radar a bit. When you look at him, mate, and like obviously there's still going to be times when we have to get... You know, we, we, we're going to have to get used to him. You know, the, the players getting used to him playing. He picks up them scraps, mate. He scraps to the ball, he gets the ball. And when he gets it, the most important thing is that he uses it. Yeah. He uses it well. He put that, I mean, that Antonio goal was all him. Mm. Oh, uh, sorry, his goal was all him. Yeah. Because he picked that ball up, he made the challenge, he knocked it up to Antonio, a good little threaded pass. The sort of ball that Antonio likes as well when he's running onto it. And he's, you know, I think Brighton's defence were a bit leggy today. They looked a bit leggy and... Uh, you know, Antonio looked a bit leggy himself, but he was getting the better of them, you know? Yeah, the thing is, when Antonio plays with a smile on his face and he's enjoying himself, he's a handful for any defence. And you, and you know that because, all right, he's lost a few yards of pace over the last couple of seasons, but he's still a threat. You know, he can bounce defenders off of him. And when he's when he's in a one-on-one, -on -one, not many can catch him. But, yeah, no, I just think all round today, mate, I, I think the, the goals, like... Obviously, Suchek going off changed the game plan a bit, but I think it worked in our favour a little bit because I think we were defending too on. deep. But Ben Rama come on, and Ben Rama was like a, a man possessed because he's been dropped. But now he's got and an he opportunity. Knows someone coming yeah. up, in, up his arse He's as got well. he, what was it, 25, 30 minutes into the game, and then Suchek goes off, and then Ben Rama's on, and he's 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 ready to go, and, and that's the difference. And he, he was out wide looking for it. I thought Bowen had a great game. Paqueta, uh, I think Zuma and Ogbonna as well. Emerson for me. Um, I thought he had a. He didn't have a great game. Give the ball away, but he was still good. If that makes sense. Yep. Um, Sue Fowl, just Sue Fowl, really didn't make many mistakes. Well, yeah, he dealt with that Matoma he, well. He dealt with him well. He got caught a couple of times, but you expect that. Sue Fowl's not the fastest, and as you said, when you're up against Matoma. Um, but yeah, no, look to come here and uh, against a very confident Brighton team that have won two games this season, scored eight goals. You know, their fans before the game, we we had it when we was walking here. They was all laughing, saying, "Oh yeah, two 0 today." So, of course. If I was them, I'd be confident from, from playing West Ham. Games. Yeah, but yeah, no, we've we've broke the curse, and it, it was a nice nice way to do it, and it's a it's a great perfect away day, not it's the perfect performance. We though. stood out here, mate, before uh, as as you say, it's, it's the complete polar opposite. We we got battered four 0 probably the one of the worst performances I've ever seen. Mm. I mean, we was we was nowhere near anyone. Um, 
And then we've come here today, we've used the ball well, we've won the game. You know, last time people were chanting for Moyes out, now it's Super David Moyes again. <laughs> You know, listen, I've given more stick than anyone, but you've got to give the man credit. You've got to give the man credit. Yeah, of course you can. And as someone said on the fan cams, you know, you just got to sort of get behind him. And when you see him at the end coming over to the fans and the fans are clapping him, that's what we want. If David Moyes is doing well, West Ham are doing well, the fans are happy. Look, you can't... I know it ain't the greatest football under him. I know that. But with the players we've got coming in... I know, I'm quite enjoying you it. Might, no, but... Yeah, you're enjoying it because we're winning. Yeah. <laughs> but no, look, if we... You think what we've got else coming in? We've got Kudas that should be announced over the next couple of days. We should hopefully be bringing another striker in. You know, there's a lot to take forward for the rest of the season. And uh, yeah, I mean, the fans were singing, "Are oh, you watching Declan Rice?" Um, yeah, a bit harsh that really. It's uh, one of them things. I know people are going to turn on Rice, but look, you have your own thoughts on him. You know, he was always going to leave the football the club. The but day, as I said the, last, he's, he's, the, he's the money that built the house. But as I said last night, mate. I think the best thing for this football club was Declan Rice going because what we've brought in with his money that we've got is three versatile players and, and that's what we need that's what we was lacking we was always looking to go through Declan Rice different last direction. season different direction yeah different direction that's that's what it is you know as I said before you know with Rice in the side you couldn't drop him he was a captain he was our best player everyone's looking to go through him you know maybe the players picked up a little bit of the aura that he was leaving um, and wanted to leave you know and he wanted out uh, and it, you know it put a few people's heads down but we're back to what we were, and that is a a team that looks together, a team that looks like they want to work yeah, for each there's other. Yeah, there's a lot of spirit in that team. You see it at the end when all the players come over to the fans, and and uh, you know they're all cuddling, and they all go around before the game, and and like obviously cuddle each other, and there there seem to be tight in that dressing room at the moment. I mean, Kurt Zuma, who no one really thought as a captain. You know, he could be the first captain to lift the Premier League trophy for West Ham. <laughs> I'm joking. Invincible, she's on. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm beaten since Prague. But, no, look, joking aside, um, it was nice to let Tottenham feel what it would be like at Tottenham League for a few hours <laughs> and we knocked them off their perch. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. It's all fun and games, isn't it, you know? But to get seven points in the first three games... I Two away think, games as well. Yeah, I didn't think anyone really saw that coming, if I'm honest. You know, thinking Chelsea at home, Brighton away, you know... Drawing with Bournemouth, there was a lot of people coming out of that ground disappointed. You know, we could be sitting here with nine points, but we're not. We've got seven. It's a great start to the season. Bearing in mind, this time last season, we had no points. We was bottom. Yeah. So, it's yeah, it's an improvement. And if we can get the signings in, I'm, I'm excited. But I think that Antonio took his goal well, the way he rolled the defender. So I, I'm going to say this now. If we go with the same quality at, at Luton, we'll beat Luton. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, and, you know, I know it's going to be a big game. It's a big game for them first game in the Premier League um, but if we can come out of that with three away games with ten points on the board I think that's the, 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 the I, 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 I did say right I thought we was going to have a good season yeah the, season. Di the difference is with the difference is with like Luton is that Kenilworth Road is so tight and, and players like Paqueta Ben Rama and all that they're going to the players, Luton players, ain't going to let them have time on the ball. So it's a, a way of working it around how to break that down. But look, let's just enjoy the week. You know, it's... Um, but we haven't even mentioned Bowen's goal. Great finish. Oh, Bowen, Bowen was brilliant today. Great pass. But Bowen was brilliant today. He, he works so hard up and down that, them wings. You know, he creates things. And, well, um, he was on a Brighton channel just before. And we said three players that they should look out for and Al scored. Yeah. Al, and look, I know we mentioned him earlier, but I thought Alvarez, bearing in mind that's his first start in the Premier League. Um, he was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I thought so. He was solid and he, I, I'm excited for the rest of the season, you know, just to, just to get this team working together. I think obviously we've got to be lucky with injuries uh, and suspensions, but I think that, you know, yes, I think there's a lot, there's a lot, a lot of people out here now in West Ham fans, especially like, because we see them a lot on away days. There's, they're always like down and I, and you've got to expect that because of what we've seen over the last season, especially in the Premier League. But today everyone come out, every, look, you can hear it now, look, top of the league, champions of Europe. I know, look, we're only taking the piss out of ourselves, but we hmm. love it. And that's what football's about. And I think it's brilliant. And everyone goes home, you know, if you can't enjoy it when you're winning, when can you? Exactly. It? You know, we're quick to we're quick to moan, you know, when it ain't going right. So let's praise these players and let's enjoy it this week and let's praise David Moyes. Also, look, transfer window shuts on Friday. Let's hope that yeah. Tiny Tim gets on his jet and goes and finds another couple of gens. <laughs> let's hope Sullivan keeps digging in his pockets. Let's hope, you know, we've got the Europa League draw on uh, Friday right as well. well. So And looting away. There's a lot to look forward to, mate. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. <laughs> this is the West Ham fan <laughs> TV's post-match reaction. Go and check out all the fan cans that we've just done now. Uh, the boys done a watch along as well. Check out the reactions to that. And I'll be back tomorrow morning with a morning after the game before. Enjoy well, your bank holiday. Uh, and uh, subscribe if you know. One thing left to say. Come on, you Come lions. On, you lions.